Well, um, there you go, guys. Uh, there was uh, five right there. Five down, five more to go. So let's start off um, with uh, number five. Uh, and that would have to be a guy that my father loved when he was a kid, when he read comics. And he still does. He's the one that got me into comics. Um, Thor. The Mighty Thor. Such a great character. Another great character Stanley created. Just not really, but he created for the comics. Um, and because I'm a big fan of anything that is on mythology, whether it's Greek mythology, Norse mythology, Egyptian mythology, anything where anything where the gods of Olympus, the god of you know the Norse gods, the Vikings, anything like that, I'm really into, and I've, I've studied that in school, college, wherever. Um, but Thor is another great character. I truly, truly love. Um, very great, another great powerhouse of the Marvel Universe. Um, uh, glad to see that he's back amongst the Marvel Universe. He's not dead. You know, after, you know, Ragnarok, you know. Um, basically, I would love to see him, you know, just finally, you know, in my book, he's, he's just a great character, but personally, in my opinion, I would love to see him just for all those who hate the century, if you know who I'm talking about in the Marvel Universe, I'd love to see Thor just, just beat the shit out of this guy. I hate the century. And you can quote me on that. I hate the century, and I'd really see, love to see Thor beat the shit out of him. Um, just, just, beat, just beat him down. But personally, with Thor, he's just a great character, guys. Um, glad to see that they've casted him, finally. Um, and personally, um, I've seen the guy. I've seen the guy they cast, and this guy is pretty big. They buff him up a little more. There's your Thor. They got him. I've seen who they cast for Loki. And this guy really, really looks like Loki. He has that Loki look. But Thor, Thor is just a great character. But personally, like I said, I wish they would just have Thor just beat the snot out of, just beat the beat, beat the hell out of Sentry. I do not like him. I don't like him. Just, just a bad character, guys. One of my most hated characters. But back to Thor. Man, Thor is just a great character. Just a very, very great character. Uh, number four would have to be Thor's best friend, Captain America. You know, they say Superman represents the all-American hero. Not in my book. In my opinion, guys, and this is my opinion, any man that represents his country like Cap did, Steve Rogers did, that's your American hero right there. Any hero, any hero that represents their, rep, their country's flag, and I'm talking about also Alpha Flight, the old Alpha Flight, not the new Omega Flight, the old Alpha Flight. Rogers is among those American heroes. Not that I'm saying Superman isn't, but Steve in my book is, the, is that top person before Clark. So I, if that offended anybody, I'm sorry, but that's just my opinion, guys. But the unbreakable shield, the, the agility, the, the super endurance, he doesn't get tired, you know, you know, basically, waking up in an arrow 
where he was not familiar with, where he had to basically start all over. And I'm talking about Steve Rogers here. You know, he had to basically get back in touch with what he missed over the 60 years he was frozen. I'm very, very happy to see that Steve will make his film debut. Well, he's been in big stream before, but he will make his... He'll be back in the spotlight again. And I've touched on this before, guys, where I've said, you know, I love the way Marvel is doing their movies where they're giving all their characters, some that we know and some that are not familiar to us, a chance in the spotlight. You know, and it seems that DC is now starting to realize that too. We got to give our other characters a chance. Hence, I'm talking about Green Lantern getting his own motion picture um, next would definitely have to be another character from the Marvel Universe another um, another hero created by the great Stan Lee um, that the great writer Ed Brubaker is doing a great job on the man from Hell's Kitchen the man without fear Matt Murdock Daredevil Another great friend of Spider-Man's, uh, one of the great pupils of Stick, um, Daredevil, just the protector of Hell's Kitchen, you know, Daredevil has always been in my top ten, he will always be, be in my top ten, like I said, Ed Brubaker doing a great job on writing him. I'll be. I'm very glad that uh, Marvel is gonna reboot the Daredevil franchise. Um, in my opinion, and because I didn't mind Daredevil the movie too bad. I like I said once again, that's Hollywood's version. But once it's one now that it's gonna be fully a Marvel productions, we'll probably see a very different Daredevil. And I'm not even going to talk about Ben Affleck because I don't like him too much. I don't like him. And from what he's for what he said about playing Daredevil, he just that just really pissed me off. What he said in an interview that I read. Um, but in my opinion, who should have played Daredevil is Matt Damon. That's that's my opinion, guys. But. I love his battles with all his various rogue gallery. The difference with Daredevil and Spider-Man is Daredevil didn't really have a really big rogue gallery of villains. But now with the appearance of Lady Bullseye, things are heating up in uh, Daredevil. But the fights between him and Bullseye, period, have been just, just terrific. Number two would definitely have to be the man known as James Howlett, Logan, Patch, his aliases go on and on and on. Um, say what you want about this guy, overrated. That's not the reason why I love him so much. The claws, his mutation, no, that's not. It's his story, guys. The, the, the story is really what really... It's just great to me. It really, really... His story of the losses. Witnessing so many deaths. It's amazing that he hasn't gone crazy. Hence, because all the tragedies he's had, his healing factor would, would heal those and block those from him at a time. At one time, they did that for him. Um, and if he did, it, it would be amazing. He would just go off and try to shoot himself. Try to kill himself and he would heal. But I hear everybody talk about you overrated. Um, screw that, man. He's he's on too many teams already. I hear that a lot. And maybe I do agree. Yes, he's on the X Men. He's on the New Avengers. He's on. Um, he runs uh, X Force. The um, he's he's does his own thing. You know. You know. So it kind of was like, when this guy got a lot to do. He's but. Logan is just a great character to me, and it's the story that really, really pleases me. Like I said, he's like a 
a wandering samurai that is going off the path of Bushido and he's trying to get back on it. You know what I'm saying? So that that's why I really love Wolverine so much like that. But yeah. There's, it, it, you know, it, it is, you know, he's a badass, you know. He don't take show shit from nobody. And, you know, this five foot three guy is is not quick to get in your face if you piss him off. But last but not least, I would definitely leave off on is the man that really, really, I really started reading comics because of him. The first guy I ever read, Spider-Man. Peter Benjamin Parker. A guy I could relate to so much in so many ways, it's not even funny. Um, bullied. The only difference to me and him being bullied, I pushed back. He didn't. So there you have it, guys. My top 10 Marvel heroes.